So in the previous lecture, you have done the complete coding to send the WhatsApp template message. Okay. So now we'll do a testing. Now we'll do a testing. Okay. So execute. The second method is to send a template message. And if you see here, my WhatsApp, my last message is 21. Okay. 19 minutes. So now from here, like I will enter my mobile number. Don't forget to add the country code. Fine. I'll mark here as case sensitive. And I'm passing here the template ID. Hello underscore world as per the postman request. Okay. And now I will execute here. So we'll first check whether the variables we have received or not. The version, phone number ID, phone ID and token number. And from input, we pass the mobile number and the template. Okay. So just check, uh, check, the, uh, check the JSON payload. This is the JSON payload. And after this, I'm replacing it as per the requirement. So replace all occurrence F6. Okay. F6, size of RC equal to zero. F6, 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 post, send, receive, LV underscore response. So here in the LV underscore response, see, you can see here the message ID successfully generated. This means that and the status is accepted. This means that our WhatsApp message sent successfully. Now, to read the exact message ID from this, okay, again, we have to do deserialize. This is a JSON body. Okay, we have, to, you have to, we have to deserialize or we have to use the split concept to get the exact message ID and the status. Okay, that we'll do later. First, let's finish this testing. I press F8. Now, I'll go to WhatsApp. See here, I, received, I just received one new message. The last message was 2119 and now we can see 2123. Hello world message is at least same. Okay. So in this way, our first message through WhatsApp Cloud API successfully we have sent through the SAP by using a class in SE24. Fine. Right? So in this way, in this way, based on your like the message type which you are sending, which I was, because I explained in the postman. For every type of message, whether it is a media, body at all, our JSON body is going to change. Our JSON body is going to change. The response format is also same. Okay. So based on whether you're sending the text message, you're sending template message, you're sending document, okay, your JSON body only will change. Remaining everything is same. Fine. So same method as I create here to send a template message, you can use for the text message or document and change only this part. Which part you will change here? This one. Your structure will change. Okay. Here, based on that template JSON body, I created this structure. So for text document, only change this structure. Okay. Remaining everything, I think same. No need to change anything. Fine. So in this way, we successfully send our first message through SAP. Thank you.